Dear sisters and brothers in our Lord Jesus, Today we ask the Lord to bless those who have got addicted to alcohol or drugs. There are different kinds of substance abuses today like drugs, alcohol, tobacco, sleeping tablets, paid medicine, inhalants and so on. Some of these abuses lead to addiction and causes chemical changes in our brains. Some people struggle for years to come out of these addictions. Dear Mother Mary, be with all those struggling with various kinds of addictions. Be with them when they find it difficult to carry their cross. Help us not to look down or speak against them. Rather, teach us to be with them during their difficult moments. If there is something we can do to help them, give us the courage to do so. A reading from the Gospel of St. John Then Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered him, We are descendants of Abraham and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying, You will be made free? Jesus answered them, Very truly, I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household. The son has a place there forever. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. Alcoholism is quite a prominent problem in not only India but also the world. Unlike other diseases and illnesses and ailments, Alcoholism has the most devastating influence on people. This is because it is not only the alcoholic who is affected in terms of his health, but also an entire family or society. Domestic violence, unnecessary assaults on children and other members of the household. Then there are even grievances caused to neighbors and others in the area, as I am sure most of us have come across. Within the household though, the fear is most, with some having to keep jewellery and other valuables hidden to prevent them from being used to buy or finance the alcohol addiction. This at least has been my personal experience. Why do people get into drinking in the first place is another topic to explore altogether for another day. Sometimes it could be because of peer influence and a bad friend circle. Sometimes it could be an escape for someone from a stressful situation or event and many other reasons. But for those who end up making it an addiction, clinging on to alcohol and ultimately creating a dependency on it, it turns out much worse for them. Don't get me wrong though, I am not saying alcohol is absolutely a bad thing and a sin. No, I do not say that. But drinking alcohol to a point where your daily need and consumption of it causes problems at home, either financially or socially, that is, you manage to push your family and friends away, yes, that is bad. God tells us, or scripture tells us, that our bodies are the temple of God, which houses all our talents, abilities and skills. So then, if our drinking and other bad habits causes us to desecrate and ruin the health of our bodies, I think we should be wise enough to understand that apart from it being a sin, it also ruins our minds, our mental and physical health. 
some might say that even sports and other activities causes injuries to our bodies. So should we stop playing games? Well no, obviously not. Sports, like I said a while earlier, is a skill and a talent that we showcase and use for the benefit of others and society. Alcohol addiction on the other hand helps and benefits no one. Therefore it is most important that we discern or choose wisely what is good and what is bad, what is beneficial and what isn't. In doing so, we could become beacons of light for others who might lose their way to the darkness. After all, we are all put on this earth here to help one another, to live better lives, joyful and happy lives. Let us all pray that the grace of Our Lady be shown to all those who struggle with alcohol addiction, including others who are affected, such as family, friends and neighbours, that our mother may enlighten them to change their evil habits and become exemplary people for others. We bring before our Blessed Mother today those who are struggling with drug and alcohol abuse. There are many today who are weighed down by some form of addiction to alcohol or drugs. Look with compassion on all who are ensnared by any form of addiction and grant them the grace to see this and the courage to let go. Dearest Mother, we pray that they may be released from this imprisonment and return to a life of dignity and meaning. Give wisdom to their family and those who care for them, that they may be given the support and help they need. Endow them with patience, understanding and perseverance. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, and especially those who most need thy mercy. O most holy virgin, you were chosen by the Most Holy Trinity to be the Mother of the Saviour. Grant me, under my present necessities, that special protection you have promised to those who devoutly commemorate this joy. Relying on the infinite mercies of your Divine Son and trusting in the promise which He has made that those who ask should receive, and filled with confidence in your powerful prayers, I most humbly ask you to intercede for me. I humbly ask you to obtain for me the graces which I petition for in this novena, if it be the holy will of God to grant them, to ask for me whatever graces I most stand in need of. Pause for personal intention. I beseech you, O Comfortress of the afflicted, by the joy you have received when the Word was made flesh, to obtain for me the favours and graces which I now implore through your powerful intercession. I most humbly entreat you for the love of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, with which yours was ever so inflamed. To hear my humble prayers, Amen. 